Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. Finally friends, I'm back with another epic comparison, so which is about the fast charging speed test comparison. So right now I do have all of these four smartphones, so I'll be comparing the charging speed test between these all the four devices. So let's see, starting with the first phone, which is a Motorola Edge 20 device, and next is Realme XN Max, OnePlus Nord 2, and the Poco F3 GT. So all the four smartphones, they do have the different kind of uh, fast charging speed technologies. So first, which has got the 30 watts charging and 50 watts and 65 watts, and 67 watts so this is the sequence which I did or uh, arrange on the table so which will be easily you can actually remember right now I do have this kind of small chart ready as well as you can see friends I'll try to record for every 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes and full charge and I'll try to write down especially when the phone gets 50% uh, of the charging so in this way we can actually figure out what is happening with all the phones so which can actually reach the 50% of the capacity in what kind of time that is what my main motive of doing this kind of testing and uh, my room temperature is exactly 28.5 degrees as you can see clearly so there is no AC there is no cooler in my room nothing at all and if you want I can check with the thermometer as well it will show that same kind of reading as well as you can see exactly as my room temperature so it's accurate and let's begin the test friends without wasting any time so one quick, quick thing all the phones or they do have the exactly one percent of the charging in their battery so i'm trying to do the charging test when the phone is in on mode at this moment right now there's a one percent in the realme x and max as well and in the oneplus not two also there is also one percentage as you can see exactly which is very quite low it's slight like increase of brightness yes as you can see friends clearly one percent of the battery in the oneplus not two and the Poco F3 GT also we do have the 1% of the battery as you can see exactly. Now let's see which phone will actually charge faster starting from the 1%. The main reason is because these two phones if you try to charge from the switch off mode they'll try to get turned on. That is the reason I thought of for doing the charging test when the phone is in on mode only. Right now as you can see friends all the phones are ready with their fast charging technologies which is going on at this moment. All the phones have successfully detected the fast charging. And right now the charging begins with all the phones and you can see the turbo charging coming in the Moto H20 which has got the turbo charging technology which you can actually see here. So phone has got the 4000 mAh battery capacity so which has got the 30 watts charging in the Moto H20. So let's see how much battery percentage will the phone will be able to charge after 15 minutes. And whereas the Realme XN Max has got the 50 watts charger and by default we do get the 65 watts but the phone will charge only at 50 watts charging speed rate and the phone has got the 4500 of battery capacity and right now you can see which charges with the super dot check technology and right now let me try to do one thing i'll try to disable the mobile data yes i mean the mobile connection i'm trying to put in airplane mode because other phones i don't have the four sim cards to keep in all the phones and charge at same time so sorry for that friend so that's the reason i need to choose only the airplane mode at this stage and right now the OnePlus is also charging with the wrap charge. So we don't get any kind of uh, terminology displaying here which says wrap, char wrap charging. That's one kind of annoying thing. So next is about the Poco F3 GT which has got the obviously MI turbo charging. So you can e easily find it. Let me try to show you friends. So the bottom will be displayed uh, which says charging rapidly in the bottom uh, of this phone. As you can see friends, which says charging rapidly in the bottom of the phone, you can actually see that. So which means phone is charging with the very fast char charge technology what is available at this moment. Let's see which phone will be having what kind of charging speed. So again, I'll be back after exactly 15 minutes of time just to check. So what will be the charging speeds in all the four smartphones. So 4000 mAh of battery, 4500 mAh of battery and 5000 mAh of battery capacity. So this is how I did organize all the four smartphones. So and even you can actually see the color difference between all the four smartphones. So black wire, white wire and uh, red cable from the OnePlus and yellow cable, L type cable from the Poco F3 GT. Even by looking at the cables also, you can easily identify which phone is what phone. So again, I'll be back exactly after 15 minutes of time just to check the percentage of the battery and temperatures. So I forgot to check the temperatures at this moment. Right now it's of 32 degrees in the Moto H20, 35 degrees in the Realme XN Max, OnePlus Nord 2 31.8 degrees, Poco F3 GT 31 degrees. Slightly the Realme started to get heat in the beginning itself. So again I'll be back after exactly 15 minutes of non-stop charging these phones. Then we can decide what is happening with this all the four devices. As you can see friends right now we are close to exactly 15 minutes and let me just check the battery percentage how much it got charged at this moment. Right now the battery charged to 39% in the Moto H20. 
and 48 percentage in the realme xn max as you can see and one place not to charge it to 69 percent as you can see friends in the 15 minutes close to and right now the poco f3 gt charge to 51 percentage and if you want to know about the 50 percentage charge the realme xn max charge to 50 percentage in the 17 minutes of time as you can see exactly 17 minutes and the one place not to charge it to 50 percentage in the 11 minutes of time and poco f3 gt charge to 50 percentage exactly around 16 minutes of time so this much of time took for the these three smartphones to charge the 50% of their battery capacity and whereas the Moto H20 is slightly low we do can definitely understand because of the 30 watt slow charging speed but let's see till now the phone did not charge to 50% because right now it's only ab about 43% of the battery capacity so this is going to be really interesting friends just to check the temperatures let's see what's happening with the temperatures so which phone is maintaining what type of temperatures so Moto H20 is maintaining about 34 degrees 34 and 35 on the back side as you can see so 35 is the maximum in this phone and the realme is maintaining 37 so 37 is the highest so far recorded temperatures so 35 37 and the one place is maintaining 35 not bad even though it's for charging fast but still the temperatures are really low maintaining 36 so all the highest i did see about 36 degrees 36 37 and 35 and the POCO of the GT on the other hand it's about close to 36 degrees and 35 36.2 degrees so 37 degrees as well overall but if you look at the inside temperature it will be different inside I mean inside the battery let me try to show you exactly in the settings here it will go up to 41 degrees okay if you try to look at the inside temperature but outside when you try to measure with this thermometer it's about close to 36 degrees as you can see friends 36.5 Overall, these are temperature readings for all the three smartphones at this moment, all the four smartphones. So if you want, you can take a look at the what are the battery percentage for about 20 minutes as well in case if you want to know how much the all the phones got charged, 48% in the Moto H20. Still, we did not reach that kind of 50 capacity, it's showing 48%. In the Realme XN Max, the phone battery is about 57% right now it reached. Realme XN Max and the one plus not 2 it reached up to 82% in the first 20 minutes of charging as you can see 82% in the one plus not 2 device and in the POCO F3 GT the phone reached to 61% as you can see friends clearly so 61% 80% and the Realme XN Max is around 50 kind of series and this one is about 40 kind of series right now it's 49% so it's going to get charged 50% any minute maybe just now kind of close so I'll try to write down exact readings as well during this time of testing. So charge to 50% exactly around 20 minutes of time, slightly kind of 21 minutes, but still I'll try to write down this uh, 20 minutes of time. The phone took to charge 50% in the Moto H20. 20 minutes, as you can see, 50% in 20 minutes. And the, but the temperatures are remaining slightly higher in the Realme Exxon Max in this kind of speed rate. It's showing the signs about 37 degrees at this moment in the Realme Exxon Max. And other phones were showing the signs kind of close to 1 degree less than the Realme XN Max temperatures. As you can see, 36 degrees, POCO F3 GT, 35 degrees in the OnePlus Nord 2, 37, it's showing in the Realme XN Max. And in the Moto H20, no need to worry about because it's charging really slow, it doesn't heat up much of the battery. So these are the quick readings for the first few minutes. So again, I'll be back maybe close to 30 minutes of time. I don't think the OnePlus Nord 2 will be waiting for till that time because right now the phone got charged to 87%. 87 it's like very turbocharging for instance the oneplus not 2 so seriously this phone can i think right now i do have only few phones which can actually do that this kind of speeds so let's see what's going to happen after some time so right now as you can see friends, the time is about 26 minutes of time and the oneplus not 2 is unstoppable at this race as you can see it's kind of 98 percentage the phone charging speed as you can see friends, exactly 98 percentage so it's off uh, 26 minutes and at this point, the other phone which is close to that is 77% uh, the POCO F3 GT. The Realme XN Max, maybe it's kind of 71% not bad. But still the Motorola also doing its job, it's at uh, 65%. So 65% and the OnePlus Nord I think reached to 99% just now in 26 minutes of time. As you can see friends, overall from the starting to till now of using this phone, I think close to 50 days of usage, it's been similar kind of experience for me in terms of the charging speed in this phone. And this is the charging speed test which I'm trying to do after the recent software update as well, which uh, all the phones did encounter. So except the Moto, three phones did receive the software update. 
that is the reason I thought of doing this kind of charging speed test comparison so you can actually get a clear idea and right now 27 minutes of time and the phone charged to 99 percentage of the battery here so 99 percentage still is showing and this test is done without using any kind of sim cards as i said i don't have this many sim cards to use so that's the reason i need to keep an equal test fair comparison that is the reason there is no sim cards and airplane mode maybe in few phones but it's of 99 percentage let's see whether this can charge in within that 727 mark frame rate or not still 99 100% as you can see friends, 100% the phone reached one place not two exactly 100% it reached and right now the time is about close to 27 minutes of time the phone completely took to charge the till real 100% if you want you can definitely see that indication which says charging but if you want to know charged after what time it's going it says charged that's the reason I'm trying to clearly show you the in front of the camera as well let me need to write the readings of 27 minutes but we'll try to like take a look what is happening when it says completely charged so it's saying 27 minutes and right now it's still charging so i just want to get that message so whenever the phone charges full i mean 100 percentage definitely the, the, those phones they will message that saying the phone is fully charged you can unplug or something that's what I'm trying to look. Still says charging. Just to show you. So it says charging and other phones were at uh, close range. Poco F3 GT 82% the phone charged. Still the battery gets a lot of heat in the Poco F3 GT unfortunately. But uh, let me try to do the show the readings exactly what is going on. 40 degrees in the Poco F3 GT inside the battery if you try to look and still it's showing the charging symbol as well it's not showing any kind of charged message so other phones and uh, poco sorry realme xn max it is 78 percentage and moto it's 20 72 percentage 72 not bad so even the motor is also nearly there getting there and it's been two minutes of uh, showing it reached 200 percentage but it's not showing the symbol which says charged so let's see what's going to happen and right now we're getting close to 30 minutes of time as well so in 30 minutes of time I'll, i need to write down the readings for other smartphones how their battery capacities are let's see so exactly 30 minutes i'll try to write down the readings and uh, yeah here we go oneplus noto still showing charging symbol only and the moto h20 charger to 73 percentage 73 and uh, realme xn max 73 this one 79 so 73 79 poco f3 gt 85 85 percentage 73 79 85 as you can see with these are the readings for the all the three smartphones in terms of the charging speed rate 73 percentage 79 and the 85 the poco f3 gt was able to charge really quick within the short amount of time i mean close to in 30 minutes of time the phone was able to charge faster the oneplus not to symbol it's still uh, showing the charging indication as you can see still showing charging it's not changing to charge let's see how long this is gonna take that's it i'm out of curiosity questions only friends that's it so overall the phone did reach to the 100 percentage exactly 27 minutes of time so i will be back uh, when the phone says any kind of message charged no indication of that so final friends the oneplus Nord 2 did show the charge symbol as you can see charging charge symbol completely after close to 38 minutes and 37 minutes of time so this is how much time i think the last uh, the to full completely took a lot of time so this is what, that is what i meant and let me try to write down the readings as well so i mean 37 minutes so this is the question which has been asked by a few of the users on particularly on the oneplus Nord 2 so when it will try to show the message saying charge that is the reason i thought of concentrating on the oneplus not device but let's see what happens to other phones right now the other phones are 92 percentage and poco f3 gt is at 97 percentage the poco f3 gt 88 percentage so those other phones were doing kind of uh, good not bad 97 next i think the 98 percentage poco f3 gt close to 39 minutes of time not bad so considering the 5000 mAh of battery capacity in this phone it was able to do really good and uh, the bat temperatures got slightly decreased to 35 degrees at this moment as you can see friends clearly 
92.88. So I will be back after some time. I mean, after when the poke of the GT gets close to 100 percentage. Right now the phone getting charged to 99 percentage. As you can see, the poke of the GT 99 percentage. Exactly around 41 minutes of time. Let's see what's going to happen and how long this is going to take to charge to 100%. So usually the last 1% will take a lot of time in the MI phones. So not only in the MI phones, in the other phones as well, but particularly in the MI 11X device, it takes about close to 10 to 15 minutes as well. So let's see. So in the Poco F3 GT, I did not observe any, any of those kind of patterns. The phone was able to take, I think, close to 2 to 3 minutes of time. So to charge from 99 to 100%. So let's see how much more time the phone actually needs to charge under percentage. Still at 99 percentage only. And Realme X and Max is at 94 percentage, Realme X and Max. And uh, the Moto H20 is at 90 percentage. It's charging turbo. Right now it's 90 percentage. So sometimes uh, what happens is that the Moto H20 sometimes take about close to 50 minutes of time. And sometimes 48 minutes, sometimes it's kind of random time in the Moto H20 at this minute because this is my, I'm not sure why, but this is my first week of using. I think this is a day four of using this device. So still I need to do a couple of charging and uh, discharging cycles in this device. So then we can understand what is going on. But right now the phone was able to, right now 91 percentage. So before I did do the charging speed test and in that test the phone was able to charge in 46-47 minutes of time. But right now let's see how much more time this phone gonna take. 99% still the Poco F3 GT is there. As you can see here still it's remaining about 99% only. Exactly that last 1% is taking a lot of time and uh, in the Realme XN Max 95% Realme XN Max still going on. Right now phone charger to 100% as you can see friends clearly but something is weird so it's saying it's charging rapidly on the bottom and on the top notification it says 100 percent so now, now it got uh, completely rectified and right now as you can see it says 100 percent charged at this moment exactly around close to 43 minutes of time right now it's 44 minutes but it charged at around 43 minutes in the poco of the gt so in the poco of the gt i did see the similar kind of uh, charging speed I mean let's see friends whether we'll be getting any kind of symbol or not indication saying it's fully charged so let's go to the battery 100% charged I cannot find any kind of uh, indication saying anything about that nothing and the realme xn max is about 97 percentage whereas this phone as you can see Exactly around 45 minutes of time, the Realme X Max is about 97 percentage and the Moto H20 is about 93 percentage. So 93 and 97 percentage, exactly 47, 45 minutes of time, sorry. Let me write down the readings for 45 minutes, 97 and uh, 93 percentage. So these are the readings for the two smartphones, so H20, 93 and 97. So as I said, sometimes it, did, it will take some time close to 50 minutes, sometimes it's kind of random. But overall, it should be kind of uh, close to 50 percent, 50 minutes of time the Moto H20 will take to charge. That's what my expectations are. So let's see what's going to happen. And uh, again, I'll be back after some time. And at this moment, the temperatures are pretty low. So of course, at the end, the temperatures will not increase much. So 33, I'm seeing on the Moto H20. On the back side, 33 and 34, I'm detecting. On the Realme Exxon Max, it's very cool and calm. So 32. So 32 degrees and 34 degrees. So we are close to 48 minutes and the Realme X Max is at 99% and under percentage as you can see 100%. So let's see when the animation will stop. So I'm trying to write down the exact readings and 48 minutes. So from here let's check when the animation will be stopping in the Poco F3 GT. Still there is no indication nothing at all in the Poco F3 GT. And still the charging symbol uh, it's showing on the battery icon as well. And in the OnePlus Nord 2 there is no charging symbol. Before it used to be charging symbol but we are not seeing any kind of charging symbol. And in the Realme X on Max on the other hand it's showing still that animation like it's charging. But let's see how much more time this animation gonna disappear. As you can see friends after some time I think close to 50 minutes of time it's kind of we, we did get the symbol saying charged. As you can see, charge symbol. I mean, even the indication in inside the battery application also you can actually check, which says fully charged. As you can see, 
so right now the phone shows the indication after i think close to around uh, maybe three minutes or two minutes of time that is what you can i guess at this moment with the message so in the oneplus not two it took a lot of time to say the message saying fully charged so meanwhile in the moto h20 right now the battery percentage is about 99 percentage and the time is about close to 51 minutes of time 99 percentage and 51 minutes Finally, the phone says 100% charged. As you can see, it's exactly around kind of 51 minutes of time. So right now, in my testing, the phone took about close to 51 minutes. I think this is my third or fourth time doing the charging test in the Moto H20 device. And let me try to write down the readings of uh, this Moto H20. So 51 minutes of charging time. So these are the time readings for all the four devices. So 51 minutes, 48 minutes, and 27 minutes, and 43 minutes of time, as you can see. So always give or take three, four minutes here now around this time always so it cannot be every time consistent exact number minute you will get so sometimes it can be 48 minutes sometimes 53 sometimes maybe 46 minutes as well so this is a quick comparison range between all of these four smartphones in terms of charging speed rate and if you want me to do any other uh, charging speed test comparison let me know in the comment section below definitely i'll let you do the other charging speed test comparison with other smartphones very soon so make sure to stay tuned for another epic comparison friends and very soon i'll be back with that another epic comparison as well and see in the next video on the of more updates meanwhile signing off and bye